sir shall we start sir yes sure sure thank you good evening to one and all it's an immense pleasure in welcoming you all to the seven days national level faculty development program on perspective on the regional history of tamil nadu from 1st july to 7th july organized by pg and research department of history pachepas college chennai tamil nadu today happened to be fourth day on the topic tribal history of the uti region now i request dr r sumathi assistant professor pg and research department of history pachepas college chennai to give a welcome address welcome ma'am yeah hello everyone it's a moment of great privilege and honor for me to extend a hearty welcome to all of you today at this day 4 of 7 days national level faculty development program held from 1 to 7 titled perspective on the regional history of tamil nadu today's topic is tribal history of the uti region it's my pleasure to welcome our principal in charge of pachwas college dr r sri jayanti convener dr r sarvanan head of the department of history pachwas college and all other organizers from our respective department i extend my heartfelt welcome to all the participants at the zoom and youtube platform my dear colleagues and teaching staff from all over the nation now it's time for me to introduce the resource person of the day dr k john kumar formerly dean faculty of arts bishop haber college tirchi he has completed his mphil and phd at bharathidasan university tirchi underwent bl at government law college tirchi retired as hod history department and dean of arts bishop haber college tirchi with more than 35 years of experience lifetime member of tamil nadu history congress south indian history congress and a regular member of indian history congress dr john kumar has served as chairman board of studies in bharathidasan university he is also member of the board of studies in various autonomous colleges and university served as chairman of the board of valuation in bharathidasan university also as a senate member of bharathidasan university he has organized many uh, he participated several academic seminars conferences and workshops his area of great interest ranges between socio political history of contemporary india thank you for accepting our invitation dr k john kumar sir now i request you to take over the session thank you thank, thank you, you ma'am uh, thank you ma'am to give you a beautiful welcome and introduction address our pgn research department of history pachepas college chennai has been conducting webinars regularly and sequentially in the past covering several topics of contemporary relevance and research interest which which were delivered by several famous academicians and historians in that sense every such lecture was a massive hit with the respective audience but today is webinar is very special to me because today the resource person is my teacher my guru my academic role model and my mentor professor jan kumar retired professor of history and head of the department dean faculty of arts vishayibar college trichy in addition to this what makes up proud today professor jk is an alumni of this great institution of our pachepas college having completed his master degree in history in in this college he also hold holds a degree in law it's my privilege to say a few words about my professor if there was a professor who students present at past well wishers have expressed their th- thanks giving greed out of heart of heart for his due retirement through social and electronic media in large numbers it was professor jan kumar because he has left such an influencing among the students until he retired on the 1st of june 2014 the famous hero character of the box office hit ramana 
starring captain vijay khan was created by director ar murugadas only based on the socio contribution social contribution of professor jan kumar when director murugadas who was a student of professor jk took part in the college day celebration of bishayubar college told the audience that it was the influence of the professor jk which made him create a character of ramana the entire audi- auditorium went to raptors professor jk has got the ability to impart the importance of social awareness and affections with his students going beyond the limit limitations of his syllabus not only him many of his students including customer officer tiliban irs farmer chairman of park council mr chandra mohan and film director ar murugadas are still voicing their concern against the social injustices and inequalities prevailing all over the nation in addition several of his students are serving a school and college teachers and are involved in creating a responsible society the promising and glowing future of india is growing in its classroom this famous words of world renowned educationalist kotari have attracted professor jk when he entered the teaching service and from there on he never stopped fighting against the social deformities atrocities and the injustice unleashed on the ground trodden even after his retirement professor jk continues to work tirelessly so safeguard the social justice and tries tries to ensure a better living of the social background segment of india so sir it is a great honor for all of us here to have a to have you as our resource person in this evening on behalf of all the participants here i once again welcome and thank you from the bottom of my heart sir now i request my professor dr jan kumar to deliver his session on tribal history of the uti region now the floor is yours sir please welcome sir thank you dr saravanan for uh, showering lot of uh, appreciation for me i do not know whether i am eligible for all all these things or not but anyhow your appreciation is welcome our uh, dear participants today dr saravanan has invited me to talk about uh, a topic tribal history of uti region actually this topic is selected by dr saravanan and uh, he has mentioned uti region because i think that uh, if if the topic is about the nilgiris many people may not know where uh, it is since uh, uti is very famous uh, tourist center it is very easy to understand uh, about which place we are going to discuss today that is why he has mentioned uh, uti this uh, region this district actually nilgiri district is one of the smallest district in tamil nadu state this district is a unique district because most of the people live in this district are tribals tribals generally they live in remote uh, areas in the deep forest and all whereas if you go to uti kunnur kothagiri godalur and other uh, important places most of the people are uh, tribals the oldest uh, record we have about uh, nilgiris is a very recent we do not know for how long people were living in this region we do not know we do not have any archaeological evidences to prove the existence of these uh, tribal community com- communities in the nilgiri district how long years we do not know we have the first record archaeological record about this district only during the 10th century ad 
when uh, the oldest record was uh, given to us by the Mysore rulers Gangas before the establishment of the Chamraj Odiyar dynasty, there were Gangas, they were ruling over Mysore. So in the year 930, the first document, that is the inscription, is uh, available for us from the Vyanad area. This Vyanad area is actually bordering both uh, Nilgiris and uh, Kerala. That is the first oldest record we have about uh, this district, an inscription actually. Earlier, there was a belief, according to Vishnu Smriti, this place is a holy place, like Himalayas. But only during the 10th century, we came to know that uh, some people were living there. This Ganga records says, Todas were living in this area. Todas were one of the oldest uh, tribal community living in this area. And next to the Gangas, the Kadambas, they captured uh, this place and uh, ruled this area around the uh, 12th century AD. Vishnuvardhana, the Vaisala ruler, captured this place from the Kadambas. So, Gangas, Kadambas, and then Oisolas. They were ruling over this uh, plateau from around uh, 10th century, we can say around 10th century. AD. Earlier, we do not know who were the rulers of this place. A grant of Vishnu Vardhana of 1120 AD says one place called Nayakan Kote, Dhananayakan Kote. Maybe that Dhananayakan Kote would have been the headquarters of that uh, village, that uh, district or that place, Vainal area. So that was the first information about a small town, Dhananayakan Kote, we got in the year 1120 issued by Vishnu Vardhana of the Vaisala dynasty. And this Vishnu Vardhana's uh, dynasty's record mentioned about the Todas, one of the tribal community of this area. Apart from Todas, today we have records to say other tribals like uh, the Kurumbas, Kothas, Irulas, and of course, the Badagas. Today, we are going to concentrate only about the major tribal community, the Badagas. Because their culture underwent a lot of changes in the last 200 years. Whereas the Todas, Irulas, Kurumbas, they still live in remote areas without availing the modern facilities offered by the government, especially the education. Whereas this Badaga community utilized the opportunity offered by the government. And you'll be surprised to know that today, almost 100% are literates among the Badagas. Almost 100%. This is a uh, a unique feature of that community. Very rarely we come across uh, such a literate people among uh, any community, even the Kerala, where the literates are more uh, in the whole of India, it is only around uh, 85%. Whereas among the Badagas, the literary rate is almost 100. That's uh, an extraordinary uh, feature of this community. The other uh, tribals, they do not uh, show any interest in education. They do their uh, agricultural work, cattle and uh, honey gathering. So they, they don't bother about uh, this education to a maximum. 
extent. Whereas the Badagas, uh, they utilized this opportunity to the maximum possible. That is why this uh, tribal uh, history about the Nilgiris is going to be going to become a history of the Badagas. From when these Badagas were living in this area, we do not know. First time we came, up, come across the Badagas only around 12th century AD. When the Vaisalas were ruling over this district, we come across the Badaga community people. So earlier, from when they were living in this area, we actually do not know. One local research scholar, Kalla Gowder, says they were aborigines. They were living in this area thousands and thousands of years back. But we do not have any written document to prove his uh, view. But the first time we come across a record of the Britishers, because one only after the coming of the Britishers, we have a lot of records about the Badagas. One such record says they were living in this area from around 1380. It's a big British record. One of the British officers wrote a letter to the district collector where he has mentioned that these Badagas were living in this area from 1380. But it is disputed by Mr. Kalla Gowder. He says that uh, no, they were living in this area from time immemorial. Anyhow, in the year 1602, a few Jesuit fathers visited this district from Malabar area. They came to this place because they were told by their missionaries that the people living in this district are supposed to be the Christians. The reason is very simple. The Badagas, they did not adopt Hindu gods till recently. They had their own local deities. One of the lo lo local deities was Yatta Yaman, a female deity, Ariyabetaya, Erodaya, like that. They don't have any image. They do, they do not have any idols. So that is why this missionary thought that they were uh, not in those. But so that is a different issue. But that uh, missionaries record, the Jesuit fathers record, mentioned few villages of the Badagas. One male Kunda, which is a Badaga village, name is mentioned. Another village named Melur is also mentioned in the Jesuit Fathers records. These records are available in Portuguese language. So these record says when they came to Nilgiris, people were living, Badagas were living in these villages. So from these records, we can very well say even earlier than 1600, Badagas were there. That is definite. But some historical scholars like an American, Paul Hawkins, he did his research about the Badagas and submitted the PhD thesis to a university in Berkeley, USA. And he has also published his thesis in the form of a book by a title known as The Hindu Refugees. All Akins says Badagas are not uh, aborigines. 
he simply says that they came from mysore area actually gangas kadambas oisalas they were all the rulers of mysore as well as the nilgiris so that does not mean that they migrated from one place to another place their own country some displacement had taken place that is is theory he says after the battle of talaikota only they came to nilgiris talaikota you know that war was fought in the year 1565 whereas the jesuit fathers who visited uh, nilgiris in 1602 says well established villages like melkunda and melur were there how can they establish a well established village within a span of 30 or 20 years so definitely they were living earlier from an earlier period so paul hawkins theory is not acceptable to majority of the scholars who worked on the products so this is all about uh, their uh, origin then you know that uh, this mysolas uh, were replaced by vijayanagar and during the end towards the end of the vijayanagar period the mysore was ruled by the udayas samraj udayas and others and after the samraj udayas hyder ali and tipu sultan they were ruling mysore and towards the end of tipu sultan's reign you know that after the fourth mysore war some agreement was made between these two from between britishers and mysore region this nilgiris was handed over to the british a part of the mysore country was handed over to the british like salem dharmapuri krishnagiri even dindigal so nilgiris came under the british in the year 1799 for the next few years nobody visited nilgiris no british officers visited nilgiris in the initial stage some surveyors the engineers engineers were sent to nilgiris to survey the area only in the year 1812 the district collector of coimbatore because at that time nilgiris was part of the coimbatore district one sullivan had visited this district for the first time he was the first uh, british officer to visit uh, nilgiris and he was the first person to construct a pakka building in the proper oti and that building is even today is visible in good condition and that is part of the government arts college uti that building is called ottaikal mandabam that is why this place is called ottagamand ottagamand today it is called udagamandalam that's a different issue but during the british time it was called ottagamand because that building was constructed by using single stone ottaikal so ottaikal mand mand is a toda village all the toda villages are called mand mand means a village of the todas and padagas villages are called atti atti means a village mand is also called a village it is a toda village atti is a badaga village so that was the first visit of the british officer sullivan the collector of nilgiris sorry collector of coimbatore visited nilgiris then in the 1819 this collector uh, constructed that building as i already told you this othekal mand and he also constructed a house at kotagiri actually that place is called kanneri mook kanneri mook is a badaga village where uh, this sullivan constructed a we can call it a guest house even today it is there that guest house is there 
and then in the year 1822 others started visiting nelgiris even the governor of madras visited thomas munro he had visited the nelgiris in the year 1830 and subsequently this uh, district was handed over this uh, nelgiris that district that was almost like a taluk at that time. So this Nilgiris was handed over to the neighboring Malabar district. So from Kwayamathur, Nilgiris was transferred to Malabar. I, we do not know for, for what reason that was uh, transferred to Malabar. And uh, again, in the year 1843, Nilgiris was uh, handed over to Kwayamuthur again. Only in the year 1868, Nelgiris became a separate a district under a commissioner. And so today it is called a collector. So from that time onwards, the people living in this uh, district uh, started getting a lot of benefits, especially education. But the population was very meager. 1871 population census report says there were only around 20,000 Padagas. 20,000, just 20,000 in the year 1871. Today, their population is almost uh, 2 to 3 lakhs. I say 2 to 3 lakhs because in the last 10, 15 years, uh, many people have displaced from Nilgiris to other places like Kwaimutur, Bangalore, Madras, etc. due to various reasons. One of the reasons is the decline of uh, agriculture. In, in Nilgiris alone, as per the latest 2011 census report, 1,50,000 Padagas are living. And a lot of people are living in Kwaimutur. Bangalore and Madras, they, their population may be around another 1.5. So that is why I said around 3 lakhs Badagas are living in this district. The, the very important feature among the Badagas is they have their own caste system. In the whole of India, we have uh, different caste systems. But among the Badagas, we have a caste system. The Badagas are subdivided. They have separate uh, sections, caste sections. One section, one subdivision is called Vodaya. The Chamraj Vodaya are no, their descendants, they claim. So one sub subsection is called Vodaya. Another subsection is called Arua. You will be surprised to know these Aruas are the Badaga Brahmins. They, even today they claim that they are number one among the Badagas, Aruas. Another section is called Adhikaris. It is believed that they were the administrators, Adhikaris, during the Mysore administration period. They are, they are, they are called Adhikaris. Another uh, section is called Kanakkar. Kanakka is an accountant, a government employee during those days. And then Badagas. So though generally all are called Badagas, Badaga itself is a subsection among the Badagas. The Vadayas, even today, they claim they are the superior among all the Padagas. They don't even take any food from other Padagas sect homes. And Aruvas, they still claim that uh, they are also the superior class. So uh, during the death ceremonies, uh, they keep away from the ceremonies 
and claim that they are not supposed to come nearer to that uh, dead body and all. The very interesting feature among the Badagas is like uh, the Dalits of uh, the general community system, they also have a lowest class called Thorayas. These people were used to, during those days for carrying uh, the message from one village to another village and helping the Badaga villages during the death ceremony and all. And they are not supposed to live among the Badagas. They have their own separate settlement just away from the main village, Thorayas. So these were the subsections among the Badagas. If you go to any village, there are around 400 uh, villages in Dilgaris today, Badaga villages. If you go to any village, you will find a unique feature that most of the houses are interconnected in a street. The modern houses are constructed separately. The modern, in the last 20, 30 years, they started constructing separate homes. But most of the old houses located in the village are interconnected. They have minimum six rooms. In every home, they have six, minimum six rooms. The first room, the entr entrance room, is called Thenai in their language. Their language is a, a corrupt form of Kannada. They don't have any script as a date. But uh, recently, one uh, Yogesh Raj has uh, developed a script and he is trying to popularize that script in the last uh, 10, 20 years. So this uh, corrupt, in the corrupt form of Kannada, because we, have, we, we call the language as a corrupt form of Kannada, because in their language, even Tamil and English are used. Only the 10th century Kannada is used by the Badagas. And uh, today they mix uh, both uh, English and Tamil. That is why I say they are using a language called corrupt form of Kannada. So in the Kannada, the front room, the, in the Badaga language, the front room is called Tenai. And then the adjacent room is called Yerai. That is almost like an office room. And the next room is called Idumanai. It is a drawing room. Then they have a Wogamanai. It is almost a bedroom. And uh, after that, uh, we have a kitchen, which is called Ittu Manai. Ittu means food. In their language, Ittu means food. So that Manai is called Ittu Manai. But uh, if you go through their culture, it's very interesting to know that uh, they have an excellent, uh, appreciable culture. One of the features of their culture is they have a system called Tellati. Tellati. Tellati means a giving a cash, maybe even 50 rupees or 100 rupees or sometimes even 500. Whenever a woman give delivery, give birth, she is given a small amount by all the villages and relatives. And then whenever a person is hospitalized, all the villages, village, all the villages means the person's uh, village and relatives, they give uh, a small amount to the patient. It is called Telati. Because they think that uh, it is the right moment to help that patient to meet the medical expenses. 
So it is stellati means you have to give it back when there is another occasion. So that is an appreciable character of the padaga. So it is very helpful for the patients when they are in the hospital. And even during the marriage also they give gift. It is almost uh, practiced by all the communities in India. In the marriage also they give a telati. And uh, in the marriages, this maternal uncle plays a very important role, maternal uncle of the bridegroom. And in all the uh, ceremonies of a uh, family, this maternal uncle always play a vital role. During the olden days, today, most of the people are not uh, interest to, interested to interested in cattling, cattling your field. But during those days, cattling was their main uh, occupation. So, milking was a ceremony conducted by the Badagas during those days. The eldest son of the family is initiated for milking. This uh, Maternal uncle is the person who initiates that uh, ceremony. And the same person is uh, playing a major role today in marriages also. And as I told you earlier, uh, these uh, missionaries came to Nilgiris to find out uh, the religious status of the Badagas. They have their own local deities. Yetta Yamman was one of the local deity, a female local deity. Erodaya, Kariyabattaya, were the local deities. Yetta Yamman festival is celebrated every year in a grand manner, especially in the Kothagiri area. And even the government has declared a holiday on that day, local holiday, Yetta Yamman festival holiday. And among the Badagas, there are, I already told you, some Shiva Bhaktas, Shiva worshippers are there. They celebrate uh, Mahashivarat every year. Like the Brahmins, uh, they wear uh, this linga on that day. They conduct some ceremonies. And uh, another appreciable character of this community is their marriage. System. Today, most of the people are suffering in India due to this dowry system. Lot of people are suffering even today in spite of the development of education. Lot of people are demanding a heavy amount from the bride's home. But in the Badaga community, this dowry system is not there. When they fix a bride, they don't talk about the dowry. They never talk about dowry, even today. It is an highly appreciable character of the Badaga Then, the entire marriage expenses is the responsibility of the bridegroom alone. The bride has, uh, bride need not bother about the expenses. So there is no dowry. The entire marriage expenses are met only by the bridegroom. And then, widow remarriage is highly increased. There is no bar for the widows to remarry. It is encouraged by the community. Then, these prohidas are not invited for their marriage ceremonies. Very rarely today, in some cases, uh, they conduct uh, marriage with prohidas. 
if they conduct it in towns. But if they conduct it in the village, they, they, they don't invite the Prohitas. So the Badagas, they never invite uh, Prohitas to conduct their marriage ceremonies. Only the village elders, they do all the ceremonial activities. And of course, the maternal uncle, he plays a very important uh, role. And even a day before the marriage, from the bridegroom's side, three or five people are sent to the bride's home to take the brides to the bridegroom's house. So even that expense is met by the bridegroom. And uh, those people who go there and to bring the bride, on behalf of the bridegroom's family, they pay a bride's money to the bride's family. The amount may be a very meager amount, but uh, they give an amount to the bride's family as a bride money. So, on the side of the bride, no expenses, no dowry, no marriage expenses, and finally even bride money is given to them. That is an highly appreciable character of the Badagas. And then, before tying the tali, the bridegroom is supposed to get permission from uh, his uh, maternal uncle. So only after getting the permission, he ties the tali. So, the maternal uncle always plays an excellent role in this community. But uh, at the same time, in spite of uh, education, 100% literacy, in spite of occupying high positions, you know, one of the Padaga person had occupied the highest office in the academic circle, vice chairman of the University Grants Commission, UGC. There were uh, IAS officers. There are doctors, engineers. Most of them work in foreign countries. In spite of all these things, intercaste marriage is not acceptable to the Badaka community, even today. They never accept intercaste marriage. Even interreligious marriage is also not uh, acceptable. E e both the uh, bride and bridegroom, even if they belong to the same community, if they belong to different religion, it is not acceptable. So this intercaste marriage is not acceptable to the Badaga community. They will never allow that uh, couple, their children, to participate in uh, public ceremonies, festivals. Even during the death of their own father and mother, this uh, intercaste married couple is not allowed to participate. Their children are also not allowed to participate. So they are very strict in the intercaste uh, marriage. Interreligious marriage is also not accepted. Even conversion is not accepted. Suppose a person uh, converted to some other religion from uh, Hinduism, because 100% Hindus are Hindus, Padagas are Hindus. Suppose if they convert into other religions, they are all excommunicated from the village. They will never allow them to participate in public functions. So this is a uh, a very unique feature of the community. They have to think several times whether to continue the system or not. But till this intercaste marriage, interreligious marriage, even conversion is not acceptable to this community. They will never allow such people to participate in public functions and even in the Death ceremony of their own family, they don't allow. 
and then another important uh, feature of this community is if a person of a village dies the entire death related expenses are met by the village fund every village they have their own uh, village fund so the entire death expenses even the food is all uh, supplied to the visitors so the entire uh, death related expenses are completely met by the village fund that is an highly appreciable character of this community and then this community is generally non vegetarians generally those who worship uh, shiva i already told you there were subdivisions among the padayas the vadayas the arvas the adhikaris kanakas these four subdivisions are always vegetarians and the last section called badagas they are majority in number they are non vegetarians this arva subset during their death ceremonies they invite another community called tribal community kothas for playing music so without music uh, their death ceremony is not complete that is one of the features of this arva subset and as i already told you uh, even among the arvas this converted people are not allowed to participate in death ceremonies the very interesting uh, feature is just hundred years back only in 1907 the first badaga completed is matriculation examination from the metro they then metro said was 1907 today 100% are literates completed completing their 10th uh, standard ssc without the 10th standard uh, there is no badaga at all but uh, in 1907 only the first padaga completed is uh, matriculation examination the padagas are also music lovers they love music in every festival they always invite uh, musicians drummers and other uh, music music musicians to play music they have their own uh, language uh, songs hundreds of uh, badaga songs are also available and those songs are played during those uh, ceremonies and in politics also today they are very much interested right from 1952 election in nilgiri there are only 3 assembly constituencies one is always reserved for uh, this uh, scs in another two constituencies only the badagas are always elected as members not other uh, tribal communities like kodda serolas kurumbas or even non tribals only badaga people they are always elected as uh, members in kunnur and utti uh, constituencies in 1992 for the first time a badaga by name rk raman was appointed by the then admk government as one of the chairman of their board wari talaiva and then in 2006 another person by name ramachandra and belonging to the dmk became a minister even today is a minister in this present uh, cabinet so 
in politics also they are very much interested and involved only badga community persons are always elected as uh, mlas maybe they may be belonging to any party but only badga person is always elected as mlas in both uh, kunnur and uh, uti constituency so such a wonderful community is this community and another very appreciable character of this community is their village administration of course we have a panchayat act and we have panchayat system and all but they have their own administrative in every village every village is headed by a person who is called gouda village gouda ur gouda ur means village ur gouda this ur gouda is elected every year by the ur general assembly and he is uh, looking after all the issues of the villages sometimes he may uh, even act as a judge to decide uh, some local uh, domestic uh, issues and he will also look after the work of the village pujari and he always represent the village in another uh, village ceremonies death etc so such a wonderful community is this padaga uh, kabadi lot of uh, records british records about this community is available in the madras uh, old uh, record office the tamil nadu archives historical records are available there in the ooty itself there is a british uh, time library which is called uh, the nilgiri library they also have lot of british records so only british written records are available about the badagas as i already told you there are one or two inscriptions but those inscriptions come some thousand years back inscriptions never mentioned about the badagas so now the question arises whether they are aboriginals or not till independence 1947 badagas were given the status of the tribes all the british records they always says badagas are tribes but after independence the present day constitution when they prepare the list tribal list to include in the schedule some of this name badaga is not included today they come under bc backward class for the last 70 years more than 70 years this community is fighting to get back that status they want the government to revive their old status one or two local organization has even appealed to the madras high court and the madras high court has also given direction to the government to look after this issue there is a research center in uti which is called the tribal research center has given a report to the tamil nadu government very recently and that report was sent to the central government only in, in this year may 2021 and that report uh, based on that report tamil nadu government is requesting the central government to include this badga community in the tribal list we do not know whether the central government is uh, accepting that or not but they have all the tribal politics as i already told you till independence as per the record they were all tribals but after independence the present government they never allowed them to enjoy the tribal status so this is all about uh, this community 
I think uh, I have given uh, the most important features about the discoverability. So, if you have any doubts or if you want any further clarifications, the participants can interact with me. So, I thank the organizers, especially Dr. Saravanan, for giving me an opportunity to interact with the, the scholars. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Very excellent and informative session. Once again, thank you. Now, floor is open to all. Any doubts or questions or clarifications can be put one by one in Zoom viewers. With regard to YouTube viewers, you can put your questions or doubts, clarifications in the chat box. Please ask. Hello. Yes. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Hello. Hello, sir. Good evening. Yes, very good evening. Uh, good evening, sir. So, only one uh, informative. Yes. Uh, that is Vadayas and Badugas and Torayas is a different yeah. categories. Well, they are all subsects among the Badagas. Uh, no, sir. It's a different category, sir. Vadayas is a different category. Badugas is a different category. Torayas also is a See, you are, you are, different you are, categories. You are, you are referring your records and say that they belong ah. to different categories. Mm -hmm. But in practice, ah. all are called Padagas. Ah. So I am uh, it's a research has that that is a three three of them, it's a different categories. The Vadayas is a migrate to Nilagris, that is a Mysore to Nilagris, and the Torayas also migrate to Nilagris. That is a Badugas yeah. only, that is a uh, uh, indigenous people in uh, Nilgiri districts. See, Vadayas, Vadayas, and Badagas, they all, all speak only Badugal language. They have a common language. Then how can you say that uh, they are different people? Sir, uh, this language is uh, Vadayas, the speak is a Kannada. No, no, they speak Badugu. They, they speak Badugu. See, yeah. That is Vadayas, a Badaga. For your information, for your information, not only Badagas, sorry, Vadayas, uh -huh. even the Kanakas, Kanakas of the Scottery village areas, they yes, still sir. have a marriage alliance with the Canaries, Kanadagas, Kanadigas. But, yes, uh, but Badagas also give uh, and take uh, a bride from their family. Uh, so that's the ancient. Uh, yes, sir. So this very well shows that they all belong to the same community. So no, so no Badaga community, sir. That is a Kanakas. That is ancient time. No, that no, is a for Kanaka. Your for, for your information, uh -huh. from the Badaga community, lot of people are given in marriage to the Kanakas, and the Kanaka uh -huh. family brides are taken by the Badagas. They are not excommunicated. Hmm. Then how yes, can sir. you say that they are different people? No, sir. It's not married to Kanakas. Badagas yes. did not marry to Kanakas, sir. Yes, yes. There are a lot of marriages. You take Kartiri village, which is a Kanaka village. Uh, From Kartiri, but this people of... is a ming... that, that people is a mingled to uh, Mysore people. Uh, Mysore uh, yeah, uh, they are also, people. They are, they are also mingled with the Badagas. I can give you a lot of... Uh, uh, exactly. uh, but only that is the uh, indigenous people of the Badagas did not mingle to the Vadayas and uh, Torayas and Kanakas. No, there, there are there are inter marriage relationship between Vadaya and Badagar, Kanakar and Badagar. There are a lot of uh, instances. I can quote a lot of instances. But they are all not excommunicated. Hmm. It is not considered as an intercaste marriage. Uh, it's not an intercaste Marriage. It is not considered as an integral, but uh, only with Torayar, the Badaga community is not uh, uh, interacting. They only the Toraya girl is not uh, given in marriage to Badaga, or a Badaga girl is not given in marriage to Torayas. And the same as Torayas girl.
did not marry in um, or uh, badgas badga girl did not marry in for the words uh, but what is the uh, ruling to the sand what my research uh, where where are, where are, where are you doing this research work um uh, i am badga people sir i am a badga community in yeah. kottagiri village so yeah. i am working for the assistant professor of the vellalar college in erode so my research area also is my community badaga community wow. and uh, phd uh, research work is for the toria community for wow. your information i am also a badaga yes hello, hello can you hear me can you uh, hello can you hear me Hi, sir. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. More no, things. Due to net connection, uh, start good, sir. You yeah, have just informed that uh, scholar that I also belong to that community. Yes, sir. <laughs> See, I know, you know what is happening in that community. and a lot of people from my own village is given in marriage to those people and uh, people from that uh, cottage yes, also marriage to our village sir madam unga internet connection sari illa neenga mic off pannunga ha avanga internet cut unga net connection sari illa please oh can i get it sir Yes, yes, huh. I, am, I am able to hear you. I, I also belong to the same Badaga community. Can you hear me? Hello, sir. Vanak, sir. Yes, Vanak, sir. Ah, uh, come on, the third house, the Nella district, lah. Parampari ma, you guys are not going. Lah, all of them are going to go to Puri Pet. You guys are not going. Lah, sir. That is why we are not going. Lah, we are going to the 10th century. Lah, we are going to the 10th century. उन्दे <laughs> Yeah, but uh, they still claim that uh, they are aboriginals, oh. and the government yes, has sir. also accepted that. Yes, sir. If I am going to, and the Vasudhi Vai people, all my Idi Virkin guys, are there? Are there? No, there are no. Are there? Vasudhi Vai people, all my 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 people, அவங்க வசதி வாய்ப்பு எல்லாருக்குமே இல்லைன்னு சொல்ல முடியாது கேட்லிங் தான் இப்ப அவங்களுடைய மெயின் ப்ரொஃபஷன் அதனால ரொம்ப மோசமான எக்கனாமிக் கண்டிஷன் இருக்காங்கன்னு சொல்ல முடியாது அங்கேயும் இப்போ கொஞ்சம் எஜுகேஷன் வந்து அதாவது படகா கம்யூனிட்டியில ஹண்ட்ரட் பர்சன்ட் லிட்ரஸ் இருந்தா அந்த கம்யூனிட்டியில ஒரு தேர்ட்டி ஃபைவ் ஃபார்ட்டி பர்சன்ட் பிப்டி பர்சன்ட் எஜுகேஷன் இருக்கு ஆனா எப்ப பார்த்த எந்த டைமிங் எடுத்தாலும் ஒரு எம்பி இருந்தாலும் எம்எல்ஏ இருந்தாலும் செட்டில் டைப்புக்கு மட்டும் தான் ரெசர்வேஷன் ஒதுக்குறாங்க தவிர அதர்ஸுக்கோ ஒரு எஸ்சி கே பீப்புளுக்கோ அந்த மாதிரி வரதே இல்லை சார் சுத்தமா அந்த இடத்துல மட்டும் கூடலூர் வந்து பல வருஷமா எஸ்சி உடைய தொகுதி தான் எஸ் சார் கூடலூர் நீலகிரியில மூணு தொகுதி இருக்கு ம் அதுல ஒரு தொகுதி எப்பவுமே எஸ்சி தொகுதி தான் ஓ இப்ப கரண்ட்லி கூடலூர் கான்ஸ்டிடென்சி இஸ் an எஸ்சி கான்ஸ்டிடென்சி प्रकाश Good evening, I'm Shantini from Trivandrum Government Arts College. Thank yeah, you for the opportunity to talk, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, I have a few questions. When the yes. British started tea plantations in Nail Grace, they took away yeah. thousands of acres of land. At that time, how did the 
how did that affect the tribals and what was the nature of land holding whether it was joint or individual this is one question yes and did the british try to recruit tribals as wage laborers and if at all they had tried were the tribals willing to work as wage laborers because most of the uh, laborers of plantations were migrant labor from the plains and one question about the badagas yes. i would like to know whether they followed the matriarchal system or patriarchal system <coughs> it's a patriarchal system no doubt about it. okay and uh, regarding this uh, laborers right from the day, british days say it's up 200 years back <coughs> badagas they never became a laborers under the britishers in their estates they always cultivated their own lands only the workers were brought from the plains <laughs> almost almost 100% workers are from the plains so did they did they had a, had a joint land holding or individual land holding sir old old, old old people had the joint land holding oh. today 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 uh, people are uh, dividing the land into among the brothers and they're getting uh, individual patas and all so when the plantations were started how did they react it because there would have some uh, displacement the, the population was very meager when the britishers entered in rigorous lot of land was available almost all the forest deforestation was allowed and the people they started cultivating the maximum extent possible so a british states were different and uh, the villages had their own uh, lands they also cultivated tea coffee vegetables and all so land was uh, available in plenty that is why there was no problem okay thank you sir thank you thank you for calling thank sir you. good evening sir yes good evening good evening Uh, i am murugan from chidambaram anamani university uh, at present i am working in mayiladurai government arts college sir dharmapur okay. nanambi okay sir um, there was a uh, teacher uh, she pursued her mphil um, dissertation under my guidance on this topic i had uh, um, uh, just what is, um, what is the pardon, topic sir uh, on this uh, dodas dodas sorry this badgas badgas sorry badgas yes 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 but uh, here the, here i have uh, two doubts the first one is their association with the british when uh, the uh, britishers uh, they had the kindly uti um, nilgiris as their summer resort for their administrative facilities the badgas had close association with the british what made the only these badgas to have a close association and it might have led them to be a literate community when compared to the other tribal communities like irlas and todas no 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 pa. that is not the reason mm -hmm. public schools government schools were established throughout the district yes todas kurumbas badgas are, are living in the same area but the badagas they go to school whereas other communities uh, todas and kurubas they don't go to the school even in kurba villages the tamil nadu government has established residential schools but the residential schools are not supported by the kurubas that the residential school is available very much in their own village but it is not supported by the kurubas because they don't uh, believe in education that's a problem whereas that was okay. utilized by the badagas okay sir and also one more question sir the, um, as far as the culture is concerned the this uh, badagas emerged into uh, the literate community uh, only because of the support of the british because british had the, the, um, the support cannot, of these badagas we cannot say that uh, british has supported only badagas british has established schools in nilgiris for all the communities badagas utilized it 
Ah, okay, 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 sir, okay, sir. And one more question, sir. Just you asked about the uh, so aborigin. Uh, previously, based on the, her uh, dissertation, I uh, uh, just uh, I had the opinion that uh, they were the aborigins of uh, Nimgris and lived in the uh, deep jungle. Uh, when they they migrated to the up uh, up hills, only the uh, uh, they, uh, they settled that. But uh, as upon according to your opinion, then they are also migrants from somewhere else. There are, like, there are two opinions. Uh, according to government records, especially British records, they are all aborigines. Okay, so sir. till till 1947, they were all considered as tribes. Okay, sir. But uh, but uh, some research scholars like one Paul Hawkins, oh. an American. He submitted his thesis in the year 1965 itself. In that thesis, he says only after the Battle of Talikota, this Badagas migrated to the Nilgiris. It is his claim. Yes, sir, you have told. Yes, sir. So there are two theories. Two theories okay, are there. Sir. But the thank you, problem, sir. Very nice of you, sir. The only problem is we do not have written records about the communities before 1000 AD. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Very nice of you, sir. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. YouTube viewers, Mr. Prakash from Sri Vasavi College asked the question, are Malayis real tribes? How to identify a tribe based on physical future? So the question is not uh, identifying a person based on physical features. Whether their community's name is in the government or tribal list or not. If it is in the tribal list, they are tribes. See, Badagas were considered as tribes till 47. Today, their name is not there in the schedule. So they are not uh, tribes today. How can we say that uh, physical feature will come here to decide the tribal features? Sir, one question from chat box. Yes. What is the status of Toda woman? See, generally, Nilgiris is a, all the tribal communities are patriarchal setup. Only the men are dominating the society. So the women in the among the Todas, they work in their own cattle field. They are, some, some women are working in the agricultural field. Very, very few women are educated and uh, they go for employment. Their population is very meager. In 2021, the total population of five tribal communities, Todas, Irulas, Kurumbas, Kotas, the total population is just around 20,000. So women are very meager in number among the Todas. There are educated women among the daughters, no doubt about it. Another one question, question, Mr. Subramanian. In nowadays, how many percentage Odayar are living in Nilagiris? That are total percentage. See, I just uh, just now I told you one among the Badaga community, total population is around 1.5 lakhs as per the 2011 census report. I already told you many Badagas have migrated to other places like Coimbatore, Bangalore, and Chennai. If you all put together, it will not go around more than 3 lakhs. In 3 lakhs population, this Odayar community is not even around 10, 15,000. Sir, one more question. Yes. Missionary activities in this Neil Greece. What activity? Missionary, missionary activities. Ah, missionary activity. Ah, okay. I told you, no, even right from 1600, the missionary activity started. For the last 400, the missionaries are working in Delgaris. Some people among the Badagas have already embraced Christianity. Most of the villages around this Keti village, you know, on the way to Uti from Kunur. They have already embraced uh, Christianity, and uh, nowadays uh, some other people are also started embracing Christianity. But uh, surprisingly, 
this uh, research scholar paul hawkins american uh, says there is one family which embraced islam but uh, as, as as far as my knowledge is uh, concerned there is no muslim among the padagas christians are increasing day by day in the in the early stages only people around kethi area they started embracing christianity today every village uh, there are people started embracing of course their percentage is very low so you can say just to 2 or 3% sir one more question the rituals yes. and ceremonies of the padaga yeah. in, in marriage function a uh, rituals and, and i already told you know the, their marriage function is very very simple the bride is brought from the bride's home or village and uh, the elderly people they bless uh, their bride and bridegroom and the bridegroom tie the tali with the permission of the elders there ends the uh, marriage after that some small ceremonies like uh, carrying water from the public tank uh, eating uh, along with the relatives in a plate so the one or two ceremonies are there that's all within half an hour one hour the marriage will be over one more question is yes. there is any bonded labor system in near greece sir definitely there is no bonded labor among the badagas tirulas kotas todas and kurbas sir patmaja patmaja desai asked the question sir please yes. explain about the konda tribal community which konda. community konda konda a uh, konda tribal community there is no konda community in nilgiris okay in nilgiris Pan- there are irulas irulas konda reddy pardon konda reddy sir konda reddy konda reddy konda reddy konda reddy community lives yes, in tirchi tirchi district not in nilgiris oh. in tirchi district there is a oh. subsection called konda reddy among oh. the reddies reddies are considered as forward community people but this konda reddy of the tirchi district hill region are considered as tribes so konda reddy belongs to tirchi district not the nilgiris sir good evening sir yes புதுக்கோட்டையிலிருந்து ஜெயபதி சார் என் பேரு சொல்லுங்க சொல்லுங்க மகளிர் கல்லூரியில கௌரவ விரிவுரையாளராக பணியாற்றிட்டு இருக்கேன் எனக்கு ஒரு டவுட் தான் அந்த தோடாஸ் எல்லாருமே வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னாக்கா அந்த நீலகிரி பகுதியில தான் அதிகமா இருக்கிறாங்க நீலகிரியில மட்டும் தான் இருக்கிறாங்க அதிகமா இல்ல நீலகிரில மட்டும்தான் இருக்காங்க அவங்களோட இது வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னாக்கா அந்த தேயிலை தோட்டத்துல வெர்க் பண்றது மட்டும் தானா அவங்க தேயிலை இதுக்கே வரல வரவே இல்ல ஓ தேயிலை வந்து படகாஸ் தான் மெயினா தேயிலை விவசாயம் பண்றாங்க ரீசெண்டா வந்து கவர்மெண்ட் வந்து இந்த குரும்பாஸ் கோத்தாஸ் எல்லாம் கூட அவங்களே இப்ப கல்டிவேட் பண்ணி இப்ப பிளான்டேஷன் எல்லாம் போட்டு எல்லாம் கூட லேண்ட் கொடுத்தாலும் அவங்க அங்க அக்ரிகல்ச்சர் ஆக்டிவிட்டீஸ்ல இறங்குறது இல்ல ஓகே சார் அவங்களுக்கு அதுல இன்ட்ரஸ்ட் இல்ல அப்ப அவங்க என்ன சார் வந்து இது பண்றாங்க அவங்க கேட்டலிங் கேட்டலிங் தான் மெயின் பிசினஸ் அவங்களுக்கு ஓகே சார் கேட்டல் ரியரிங் தான் அவங்க பண்றாங்க மெயினா அவங்க இப்ப ஊட்டியில வந்து பாத்தீங்கன்னா இந்த தோடா கீங்கிறது ரொம்ப ஃபேமஸான கீ நெய் இருக்கு இல்லையா தோடா நெய் வாட் இஸ் தி ரோல் சேஸ் what is the role of women in padagas community sir how do they how today, they are considered today i already told you almost 100% are literates yes. so many 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 women started working in almost all the fields so they are enjoying a high status in the society thank you thank you sir Sir, another question. What yes. are the role of Palada Tribal Research Center to upliftment of Padagas? So, this is a Tribal Research Center of T. Palada. Hmm? 
Palada. Palada, that place is called Palada. That uh, tribal research center is not considering Badagas as tribes. Then how can they do research about Badagas? Another one question. Hello. Yes. Uh, what about the contribution to the industrial development and the economy? So regarding industrial development, when Kamaraj was the chief minister of Tamil Nadu, a very big industry was constructed at Uti, Hindustan Photo Film, HPF. That is the major industry construct, uh, initiated by the uh, free government after independence. Earlier, when Britishers were there, one ordnance factory was constructed in Nilgiris. It is situated in Arvangadu. These two are the major industries in Nilgiris. Today, there are some small-scale industries in and around Uti and Kuno. So, major industries are not there. This HPF is closed to today. And this ordnance factory is almost... Uh, uh, it is in the verge of closure. So today, industrial activities is not uh, an appreciable stage in Nilgiris. Hello. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Wanakam. Na theni ma vattam bodi naik kono the pesering ya. Wanakam ga, wanakam ga. Ena ke mungol de vori lendu rendu sande engal. Cholunga. Onnu van. Onnu vandu sra apanda. And the Makal the one the dowry system on the Anneke Pirinci, Neke Pirinci, the one in Niki and Neil and the Indic Varikin, no dowry system. Chinnets in the or Chinnets in the Tani angle, let Chinnets in the other for the Tani angle, Tani angle, Aparosla, Pasi Manigal, either put on the dowry of Kunja Matanga, Purling Laya. Pasi Manila, and a Kunja Dani and Kuruka Paracound. At the time of marriage, pen wait there, Dani Angle and the Panamagan wait to put a current account. The Dani Angle over Ipo Ipo present day Padina or over what else she could panga. Sharia Paregalatra, I'm a Velevich of Purla Kurtanga. Sharia Adra Anga, Daniam, the period Lari Kanakala, Lord Kanakala, Dani Kuruka, other system. Nakar sound like a character over a signal of Nachi, other Naki, Valay Madipatra and the Purtu Clamla. Last Villay Madipitana, if a number Dowry Lapo, number demand Patra Pana, Nagai, and the compare Pana, the nothing else. Saying, yeah. Hello? Solana, Solana. I am Maturkali, I'm only a burial system on this laboring area. The burial system and the run to the mark non vegetarian sepome and the Angerica Puduanga vegetarian sepome for the panga. Ipo, Ipo, present condition like the Yerikar the Lerikar Saramangal Nala, Ipa, non vegetarian, Padakaramichanga. Ah, in the general and the burial of the village and the take or Pandirella ceremony of village contact Pano and the way to get the Saramam Kuduka. Sharina. Is it any? and the death year put on the death to the relatives and law and the Kadisi or one of the Kago or Dani to go to boy and the Pratin pay the Vipanga and the Vile Vipanga. And the Mudinja Vodane, Athene Perma, Tansion Padigwanga, Botanichigo. Saringa. Ali for a year with the parent Dalan Sari, but the parent Dalan Sari. And the Mudia, what did you get? 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 What did Sir, one more question. Yes. As tribals are generally known for their individuality and not to mingle with outsiders in general, what is the reason for increase in their conversion to Christianity? The conversion to Christianity is all because of the missionary activities and offering, maybe some offerings like that. 
other than that there is no reason for conversion there another one question yes. any lingayat peoples or lingayat village villages located yeah, in uti yeah, region yeah 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 i already told you know this adhikaris no adhikaris even wadayas kanakars they were all lingayats the subject wadayas kanakars adhikaris all the three section subsections they are all lingayats and this adhikaris every year on mahashivaratri day they uh, do some pujas and uh, again uh, wear this lingam so lingayats are there is there any records available on criminal tribal act implemented by british in uti region as uh, as per the record uh, the tribals were not punished by the britishers uh, as per the law there is no punishment as per the records sir one more question yes whether tellati was sir why sir why why they why they got a punishment in british government why why they why the government didn't punish to the tribal no, people no they, they, they never indulged in anti social activities anti government activities but uh, but anyway they, they they are also the criminals isn't it sir definitely there is uh, no criminals uh, during those days nowadays maybe one or two may be a criminals thank you sir they we have no records to establish that uh, there were criminal, criminal activity thank you sir are those people interested and used any martial arts or used any safety weapon sir martial art is not practiced by the badagas they 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 generally don't indulge in such activities they don't like uh, uh, people in, in indulging in such activities it is uh, almost controlled by the village elders what is the different between the customs of the todas and badgas in nilgiri the difference if you say their lifestyle we can say their lifestyle food habit and uh, their profession in these three areas uh, there are uh, differences badagas in salem district and their activity in that place no no badagas are not some employees may be there in salem but uh, their original native is definitely in nilgiri no native uh, in salem badagas are there Doctor M. Palani asked the one more question, yes. sir. Badgas are blanks to Shaivism or Vaishnavism? Please explain. Most of them belong to Shaivism. There are Vaishnavites. One one subsect called Ulikal Ulikal people. Ulikal is a village. So people uh, emerged from that village are called Ulikal people. They worship uh, Vishnu. But uh, majority are uh, Vaishnavites. Now, like near Nangam, you can't remember. ஒன்ஸ்ரோடு raised a question but uh, somehow that was disturbed by the uh, uh yes can madam is available here shobha and madam irukangala line la wait sir i'll check she starting the question she, she she said that she belongs to padaga community and all yes sir yes sir She, she, has raised, she, she has raised some questions. <coughs> some I, I was not able to answer her. I pay less, sir. I'm not able to net problem. I'm not able to pay down, sir. Sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Then it's okay. Okay. Sir. 
मैम जय प्रिया मैम हाँ यस यस प्लीज गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग ऑन बी ऑफ ऑफ पीजी एंड रिसर्च डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ हिस्ट्री पचपन कॉलेज आई फील प्राउड टू कैस्ट माय वोट ऑफ थैंक्स ऑन द फोर्थ रे ऑफ द सेवन डे नेशनल लेवल फैकल्टी डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम फर्स्ट आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक दी डॉक्टर आर सरवनन हेचओडी ऑफ पीजी एंड रिसर्च डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ हिस्ट्री पचपन कॉलेज वो इनिशिएटेड सच ए वंडरफुल एफ ऑन द topic perspective of regional history of tamil nadu second i would like to thank today's resource person dr k john kumar <coughs> former dean faculty of arts bishop hiber college trichy for sharing the tribal historical dimension of ooty region your view on the tribal history is really informative thank you sir i am honored to thank our principal and administrative department for their support in conducting this fdp grand success thanks to the participants teaching and non teaching staff for their contribution and time once again i thank all the participants who made this webinar interesting by shooting out interesting questions overall thanks to all those who have rendered your support for this program thank you sir thank you thank you very much thank you thank you sir our sincere thanks our technical team dr p kumaran Mr. Vetri Vendan, Mr. Kavya Chelvan, and Tamirika TV program coordinator V. Gandhi Lady. Thank you, thank you, Onandal. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. audience but today is webinar is very special to me because today the resource person is my teacher
sir we can wind up the zoom sir only 14 members are there sir okay ma okay ma okay. and the youtube will adukku answer panniter okay wait pannirala ma or 10 minutes wait panuva or 5 minutes wait panuva ma 15 are there okay okay hope the session was useful and very informative we will meet by 5 pm tomorrow thank you now i entered